Welcome Hello. to our channel. This is Mary Wilfred and we mm. are doing the Vancouver vlog. So today we're going to start out just by introducing ourselves and mm -hmm. kind of sharing a little about who we are, what we do with you guys um, before we get into some of the technical stuff over the next few months um, and share some of that knowledge with you. So mm -hmm. thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for joining us today and uh, like Amara mentioned, we're going to talk a little bit about us. So an intro video and when we get started, Amira, can you tell us a bit about uh, you? Feels yeah. like an interview question. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, so yeah, to tell you guys a little bit about me, I grew up on Vancouver Island, so I'm a small town girl, but I always really like the city, so it's that classic story, you know, the soft story of the girl who grew up in a small town and wants to move to the city, <laughs> but I did it. So we're here. I moved here six years ago when I was 19. Um, and I was in the restaurant industry at the time, so I was a pastry cook, um, and I worked over downtown actually for an excellent cafe, Bell Cafe and Hawksworth Restaurant. Um, they're still around to do today, and they do a really great job, so if you haven't been, definitely go check them out. Um, it was one of the highlights of my career. And then, yeah, after that, I went into front of house side of things, and I actually managed for a few different restaurants, including Cactus Club Cafe, Fancy. Yeah, <laughs> if you live in That's Vancouver, amazing. you know the brand, they do casual fine dining. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, just like excellent service there. They have a great training program, and I really enjoyed my time there. So I was there for about three and a half years, and all in all, I had about 10 years in the hospitality industry before you know, wow. I did this change. So, wow, that's uh, you must have an excellent customer service. <laughs> <laughs> I do my best, always learning, right? Um, exactly. You know, always trying to understand how I can help people out better and everything mm -hmm. there and then outside of you know my work life there's a little more to me I uh, mm -hmm. I also really enjoy spending time with my family and even mm -hmm. though they're on the island I try to head over there every couple months mm -hmm. and see them and then spend time with my friends here and enjoying you know the restaurant scene here enjoying um, you know the nature that we have and getting to go on hikes and all that so yeah speaking of which so many <laughs> questions um, First, what are your favorite restaurants? Maybe some hidden gyms. Okay. Gems. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I like the gyms too, but <laughs> and also like what are some of your favorite hikes? Maybe we can start yeah. with the restaurants. Okay, yeah. So uh, my favorite restaurants or kind of hidden gems. I'll break them into two categories for you. So All right. um, the ones I would consider hidden gems are just less popular restaurants that I really enjoy and I think deserve a little bit more credit. Mm -hmm. Um Chancho's Tortilla. If I'm saying that right, it's an uh, <laughs> amazing Mexican Never restaurant been. and they're over in Yale Town. Okay. Um, best try that. tacos I've ever had. Wow. And they do it by like okay. weight. So they do like a quarter pound, half pound, and then I think a full pound. Mm -hmm. um, and I like to mix it up again with one vegetarian and then one with the pork. And oh it's man, so I'm getting good. hungry now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure, right? And then. Um, I think that's my top hidden gem, and then for like restaurants that I really enjoy, mm -hmm. I have gone to Annalena a couple times, and it's absolutely amazing every time. Mm -hmm. um, I would highly recommend going there if you're looking for something a little bit fancier, mm -hmm. or to Maynam. Maynam's incredible. They actually mm -hmm. have been rated as like the best Thai food. Wow, um, I did not know that. Where yeah. is this one? <laughs> this one's over on West Fort. So if you guys know where Rain or Shine is, I think. Oh. Yeah, you'll probably yeah. know where it is then because it's right beside there. Mm -hmm. um, so it looks like a really small restaurant from the outside. It is pretty small on the inside, but it's excellent. You know, even if you do. It's like a family table. sort of own vibe that you get there? A uh, little bit, yeah. Little I mean, bit. it's not a chain mm -hmm. restaurant. Um, so there's mm -hmm. actually a lot of restaurants, I think, you know, in Vancouver where there's just one location and it has a great feel to it. I love right. going there. So Right, like Anton's. Oh, Anton's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's on Hastings and like it's, it's this pasta place mm -hmm. where I love going there. The course room is massive. Yeah. You get your uh, uh, money's worth there for sure. There's yeah. usually a line up there. Uh, but yeah, Rain or Shine, I was going to say, is one of my favorite mm -hmm. uh, ice cream places. Um, but yeah, what, what, what about uh, your favorite hikes now? Okay, hikes. Um, so I just recently got back into hiking. I did a lot of it on the island when I was younger. I did West Coast Trail and um, we had a hike near my house. It was to Mount Provost, so it was like a pretty short hike, um, but really enjoyed that one. And now that I'm here in Vancouver, I've had the chance to go to places that are a little more challenging, like Panorama Ridge, which I know you did as well. Wow, yes, <laughs> yes, we talked about it. Yeah. Um, 
Yes, you did it in nine hours, right? Yeah, I did it in just over nine hours. And then we took breaks too. I didn't count that in. So like with breaks, I think we finished in about ten and a half. Oh wow, still pretty good. I finished it in like over 12 hours. Like by the time we're coming down, you know like the last six kilometers. It's brutal. It's brutal. It <laughs> felt like never ending. I've never been yeah. happier to see a parking lot mm -hmm. in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you who have been there or Garibaldi, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, it's like the most beautiful you know, sight you'll ever see. It was stunning. Um, but we went later too, and I don't know if I told you this, it was actually dark on the way back. I'm terrified. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Um, that's why we brought ring bells with us. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. We were like whistling and I was like clapping my hands, just like, please don't eat us. Um, but what about you? I've been talking a lot. Tell me about, you know, yeah. yourself. And, yeah. Um, a little bit about myself. Um, quick background story. Came here in Vancouver in 2010 from uh, Mauritius Island, which uh, I'm sure you've heard about and um, yeah, uh, my dad is originally from Hong Kong, my mom from China um, and I grew up on the island, beautiful, beautiful island, check it out, uh, Google it right now if you haven't seen it and um, yeah, so I came here to study, went into the corporate world, it was not for me, um, I feel like that's a lot of the stories that I heard um, over agents, uh, but yeah, it's a very similar uh, story and I met with one of my good friends now um, who works in Oakwin, he introduced me to Michael and um, immediately he did it off, uh, we met at the smaller office there uh, and yeah, I, I joined immediately, um, yeah, so I have no regrets, uh, but joined in 2020 now, uh, my family was in real estate a long time, that's how I was able to um, be being able to be here, you know, because like um, generations ago, um, they invested in real estate, and um, my parents um, and never went to um, like university or higher than high school. So um, it gave me that chance and opportunity to myself to finish in uh, university. Uh, so I'm very grateful for those opportunities that I had, and I want to, of course, being able to have that opportunity for myself, but also my future generations. Yeah. What about you? What, uh, how did you get uh, started in real estate? So for real estate, I grew up around it. My dad's a realtor over on Vancouver Island, but it's obviously a very different market over here. So I hadn't really considered it um, until about a year, two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I started thinking to myself, you know, restaurants aren't necessarily where I want to be forever. They're great while you're quite young and they're a lot of fun. And, um, you know, it, it is a good environment to learn and challenge yourself in. And I grew so much there. Mm -hmm. But I wanted a little bit more autonomy over, you know, my schedule, over how I was running just my day to day. I'm really into health, so being able to incorporate, you know, going to the gym in the morning and going to bed at a decent hour, you know, sometimes it's roughly with contracts, but it's not normally past midnight. So, um, and it's also a lot of a different um, environment to be in. So I really enjoy the environment here. Um, and I really enjoyed it at Cactus, again, when I was younger, but as you get older and it hits midnight and you're hearing the same songs playing for the hundredth time that day, um, you know, I, I went to bed as early as I could on my days off, so on the work days it was always pretty exhausting. Um, so yeah, but I wanted to also carry over the people portion of things, so I really enjoyed working with people. That's why I stayed in the industry so long, mm -hmm. is I love the challenge, and I love getting to work with people and getting to know our clients there, our customers, and um, really engage with them. And so this was a great opportunity to carry that over, still get to work with clients, and still get to be people-focused, um, but also find that balance in my life that I was looking for. And, mm -hmm. and I've enjoyed it ever since, so it's been a great start, and uh, I've been in the industry a couple months now, and I'm really loving it. I've met, like I said, great people, so, um, like Wilfred here, <laughs> and uh, hey. some partners in crime. Um, yeah, that's been really good, but Wilfred, I would yeah. love to know what got you into real estate, and mm -hmm. kind of why did you choose Oakland, because there's so many options for brokerages, especially mm -hmm. here in Vancouver. Yeah. Um, what made you pick this one? Great question. Uh, so I met uh, with a friend um, who works here at Open and uh, he's very successful yet humble guy. Um, so sat down with dinner and um, 
we were talking and I told him a little bit about my background story, how I, my family was in real estate before and um, how it really helped. Uh, so I wanted to also get into real estate uh, here in Vancouver because they're not here in Vancouver. So then um, he told me, if you want to get in real estate, do your license because that's how you're going to learn the foundation. And so I did about two years ago. Uh, did the whole thing went through the entire process and then he introduced me to Michael, mm -hmm. uh, you here and uh, yeah, uh, we had an instant connection, um, all the values and everything that he preaches <laughs> it aligns with what I preach as well I guess uh, and yeah, so that's how essentially it all started uh, for me in real estate and also uh, at Oak Queen. Mm -hmm. No, that's amazing. Um, and I know as well, you talked about the statistics with the brokerage and kind of how well they had done. And that was another thing that I think ties both of us into coming here is, um, you know, if you follow kind of some of the brokerages here, you may know, but they've had a ton of success and they're such a young company by comparison to some of these other big names out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's something that I really enjoy. I uh, love the stats and obviously Oak Queen has done very well. And um, in the past seven years since they opened, uh, growing exponentially and uh, six billion in sales last year. Uh, that's to say that all these um, uh, like values are actually working. It's not just words on a wall. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, that's awesome. Um, yeah. I think that wraps up everything that we wanted to cover yeah. you guys for our first video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching and. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we'll leave our handles um, either on the screen or in the description. And anything else you want to add? No, I don't think so. Like, don't ever hesitate to reach out, whether it's just questions about the market. You don't have mm -hmm. to be looking to buy or sell right now. Um, or even, I think, getting started with real estate because I've had a lot of people asking about that. Please feel free to reach out anytime. So, yeah, um, yeah. thanks for watching, guys. And see you on the next one. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Action. 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 Action.